Assalamu alaikum rahmatullah. COVID over, y'all. I see y'all still social distancing. We gonna have to tighten it up, man. We gotta tighten up these ranks of people still coming up. If you know somebody who's coming and they not here, tell them they got about eight minutes. And if they ain't here in eight minutes, they stay super late. But if we could just get the brothers just come forward, come forward a little bit. Sisters, if y'all could just come forward, get, get a little bit closer. We, we want everybody to be able to fit on the tarps, as many people as possible. It's y'all love. Allah. Allah, 
اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى ال سيدنا وعلى اصحاب سيدنا وعلى ذرية سيدنا محمد وسلم تسليما كثيرا We don't want to be blocking the cameras. Brother, don't worry about the cameras. Allah, Allah, Akbar, Allah, Akbar, Allah, Allah, Akbar, Allah, Akbar, Allah, Akbar. لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر كبيرا والحمد لله كثيرا وسبحان الله بكرة وأصيلا لا إله إلا الله وحده صدق وعده ونصر عبده وأعز جنده وهزم الأحزاب وحده لا إله إلا الله ولا نعبد إلا إياه مخلصين له الدين ولو كره الكافرون اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد وعلى أصحاب سيدنا محمد وعلى أزواج سيدنا محمد وعلى ذرية سيدنا محمد وسلم تسليما كثيرا الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا صدق وعده ونصر عبده وعز جنده وهزم الاحزاب وحده لا اله الا الله ولا نعبد الا اياه مخلصين له الدين ولو كره الكافرون 
اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد وعلى أصحاب سيدنا محمد وعلى أزواج سيدنا محمد وعلى ذرية سيدنا محمد وسلم تسليما Bismillah, Bismillah is about that time. Allahu Akbar. 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 مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضور عليهم ولا الضالين سبح اسم ربك الأعلى الذي خلق فسوى والذي قدر فهدى والذي أخرج المرعى فجعله وفاء أحوى سنقرئك فلا تنسى إلا ما شاء الله إنه يعلم الجهر وما يخفى ونيسرك لليسرى فذكر إن نفعت الذكرى سيذكر من يخشى ويتجنبها الأشقى الذي يصل النار والكبرى ثم لا يموت فيها ولا يحيا قد أفلح من تزكى وذكر اسم ربه فصلى بل تؤثرون الحياة الدنيا والآخرة خير وأبقى إن هذا لفي الصهف الأولى صهف إبراهيم وموسى الله أكبر Allah, Allah, who Allah, 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 Allah,
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله. السلام عليكم. Thank 
فلا مدل الله ومن يدل فلا هادي الله ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن محمدا أبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه وسلم تسليما كثيرا يقول الله تعالى في القرآن الكريم بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتون إلا وأنتم مسلمون وقال كذلك يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به وأرحب إن الله كان عليكم ركيبا فإن الأصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشار الأمور متتاتها وكل متثة بدعة وكل بدعة دلالة وكل دلالة في النار يقول الله تعالى في القرآن الكريم وإذ قال ربك من ملائكتي إني جائلون في الأرض خليفة قالوا أتجألوا فيها من يفسدوا فيها ويسبقوا الدماء ونحن نسبب ونحن نسبه بهمدك ونكدس لك قال إني أعلم ما لا تعملون All praise is due to Allah We praise Him We seek His guidance and His assistance we believe in Allah and we do not disbelieve in Allah and we bear witness that there is no object worthy of worship except God Almighty and we bear witness that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is a servant and his messenger Allah sent Muhammad with the guidance and the religion of truth so that it could prevail over all other ideologies over all of all other ways of life over all other think tanks all of the people can get together and they can want to give you something and if Allah doesn't want you to have it you can't have it and all of the people can get together and they can try to keep you from getting something but if Allah wants you to have that thing, you're going to have that thing. So it's the great equalizer. Belief in God Almighty. Because it makes us strong when we will be weak. In the face of all kind of jive and ethnic cleansing and white supremacy and racism. The Muslims are still here standing tall. And looking good too. Y'all look good. Over the last eight months, we done seen so much horrific stuff. But y'all still coming out on the other side. Celebrating these days of Eid. And these days of Eid are the best days of the year. There are no 10 days of the year to compare with the first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. Because the creation of the hu human being, our story is totally wrapped up in this time of the year. So in the Holy Quran, Allah says to the angels 
inni ja'ilun fil ardi khalifa Verily I'm going to create in the world a khalifa a caretaker a leader a succeeder I'm going to create this person for the world and the angel said Atech anu fiha Man, you see do fiha Are you going to put one in it? Someone who's going to corrupt it? Are you going to put Zionists in the world? Are you going to put Democrats and Republicans in the world? Are you going to put White supremacists in the world? The angel's like, what's going on? Like, is that what you're doing? Because we are the ones who glorify you by your praises. And Allah said, Verily I know that which you don't know. I know that Millions of people will try leave their homes and travel to the desert just to worship God on pilgrimage. I know the people who stay home, they're going to be fasting and they're going to be worshiping their Lord in their own localities. I know that on the day of Arafat, People throughout the world are going to give up food and drink and relations with their spouses because of fear of Allah. So God is saying, I know that there's going to be good people on the earth. I know that these good people are going to be the silent majority of humanity. We shouldn't think that most of the people are homicidal maniacs. It's just our government officials. The average American, they don't want to see people get killed. They don't. And this is what God Almighty knows. And that's why he created Adam and he put him in the earth. And when he came down to the earth, Adam ended up in Hind, India. They call it Hind. And his wife ended up in Mecca. They was the only two people on the face of the earth. And Adam, he went looking for his wife. Brothers be like, Man, it's hard to find a wife. You think if you was in India and your wife was in Arabia, you think it was easy for him to find his wife? He didn't give up. And when they met, they met on the mountain of Arafat. And this is why, one of the reasons why, the name of the mountain is known. Because when they saw each other on earth, they knew each other. But this isn't the only reason why. On the ninth of Dulhitja, God Almighty took all of Adam's progeny and spread it out on the plains of Arafat. And he asked every one of us, the good ones and the bad ones, the black ones and the white ones, even the Rastafarians. He said, Unless to be Rabbikum, am I not your Lord? And they said, all of us, we said, Bala. 
That's why when any of us make hajj and we go to Arafat, we say, man, I feel, I feel like I've been here before. Because you were here before. There. You were there. Some of you was here too. I know Lowell Park. Been coming here since I was a kid. But all of that happened on the ninth of Dhul Hitcher. And this is why the ninth of Dhul Hitcher, when it wasn't a pandemic, people still go in the time the Prophet Salam, before Islam came down, they had a day of Arafat. All of the prophets, they would make their way to Mecca and do Hajj. All of the prophets. And that's why we continue this tradition. We continue this tradition so we can show the angels that we not like those who they thought we was going to be. We not going to spread corruption in the land. We not. Even if somebody does something to us, most of the time we let it slide because we know they just ignorant. And when we do something to somebody else, especially on these days of Eve, we apologize. Brothers, apologize to your kids if you did something. We all do something. Sisters, sisters don't like to hear this. Apologize to your husband. Brothers, brothers don't like to hear this. Apologize to your wife. You can keep things going. You can be like, I'm super patient. I ain't going to be the first one to give in. But that ain't right. Somebody got to be the adult. Somebody got to say, look, when I did this, I was wrong. And if somebody comes to you, if they man or woman enough to do that, you should accept that apology. You should, we should accept each other's apologies. Especially on these blessed days of Eid, a cooler calling had that with stock for a will I cool? Allahu Akbar. 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 Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Was salat was salam. Allah Ashraf al Anbiya wa Mursali. Nabina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi. We just wanted to finish off today's kutbah by saying that our father Adam, he was created in a different way from most other things. Most other things Allah creates, he says, kum for your kum. He says, be. And it becomes. But when Allah created Adam, He created Adam with His own two hands. There's only four things in creation that Allah created with His hands. He created Jinnatul Firdos, which is the goal for everybody. We all want to go to that choice, the best neighborhood in paradise. It's Jinnah the Fair Dope. We don't want to be in the projects. We don't want to be way that we just got in the gate. That's good, but that's not a goal. If you make it, you just get in there. I just, I got it, I'm safe. Law Akbar. 
But your goal has to be genuine to fear those. And this is why God created it with his own hands. And then he created the pen. And in the Bible, where the Christians at? It says the pen is mightier than the what? Sword. That was weak. The pen is mightier than the what? Sword. Allahu Akbar. The pen is mightier than the sword because education is so important. The reason why we might not be strong as all of the animals or fast as all of the animals, but because we can teach each other, we can make a plane. I know G5 pilots on a first name basis. Y'all don't like Drake no more. <laughs> we can make a plane that can fly faster than any bird. Because of education, because of the pen and what it represents. We can subdue a dolphin. We can kiss. You go to some of these aquariums, you'll see the man kiss the killer whale. He can do that because of the pen and education. And this is why God created it with his own hand. Because it's special. And then he created the throne with his own hand. So that we would know how important leadership is for every community. They'd be like, I don't need no leader. I don't need no leader. Anybody who don't have a leader is never going to be great. You ain't never going to make it in this world if you don't respect and cherish leadership. People like, well, I'm waiting for the perfect leader. I'm waiting for the MACD. But you're not perfect. You're not a perfect follower. So why the leader got to be perfect? Leader, just like you, put on his pants, leg, him or her, one leg at a time. So we can't put a leader on a pedestal and get ready to knock him down because without leadership, a community will never be great. So if we keep on bickering and arguing, we never going to be successful. And that's why God made the throne with his own hand. And the last thing he made with his own hands is our father Adam. With dirt from all other parts of the globe. Bought dirt from everywhere and fashioned a perfect human being. People think Yusef was handsome. Adam was created with God's hands. Can anybody be more handsome than that? It's impossible. And he's our father. Which means you come from a noble lineage. And the reason why it's important is because when we see each other, we got to see God's creation of us. We got to love humanity. It's the only thing we got. We ain't got nothing else but each other. And so if we don't love humanity, we not going to make it. So we need to be an educated Leadership following. Headed for the general to fear dose type of people. And then no matter what they come at us with, we gonna be like Gervonta Tate Davis. You might hit hard, but he hit harder.
You might have a game plan. What Mike Tyson say? Everybody got a game plan until they get punched. So brothers and sisters, take this opportunity to spread love in the community. Allahumma ihdina fi man hadayt. Wa afina fi man afayt. Wa ta walana fi man to walayt. Inna katakti wa la yukta alayk. Allahumma ansur islami. Wa izal muslimin fi Palestine ya rabbil alameen. Wa salat wa salam. Ala sayyidin wa mursaleen. Nabi Muhammad. Allahumma ansur islami. Wa izal muslimin fi Sudan ya rabbil alameen. Allahumma ansur islami. Wa izal muslimin fi Yemen ya rabbil alameen. Allahumma ansur islami wa isa muslimin fi kula makan ya rabbi alami wa salat wa salam ala ashraf al anbiya ibn muslimin nabi muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in eid mubarak wa kula amin wa antum bishar if you double park please move your car muslims is ridiculous with that kind of stuff if you double park, don't just chill. Just go park further away and walk back. We'll still be here. Salam alaikum. Okay, can I grab my shoe? Yes, sir. Yeah, we gotta go get them, brother. Absolutely. We don't get to stop the kids out here that often. Man, I can't stretch it for you. Hey, Salam Alaikum. I got somebody's phone. I think it's Brother Saeed. Brother Saeed, if you left your phone, I got it. I'm in the front, but I won't be here that long. Yeah. We're going to view them already. Come here. Get on this end. Make sure you get this in right here. That's right. I'm the guy. We the foundation. Who's in the foundation? Hey, come on. We the one that's setting up. Yeah, Come going the wrong way. Ibrahim, take a picture of us. Hey, uh, okay. Take a picture of us. Okay. I got twenty thousand.
Alright, alright, we got Kahi out here. Got the coat. Cool. Selling your okay, you got the outfits, okay. Alright, alright. Alright, I'm doing it wrong. Good to see you, alright. Back up a little bit. Back up. Right back up into the That's good, that's good, that's good. That's good right there. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Look for me. All right, we got here at the Eve celebration with all my beautiful sisters. Been known for a long time. I'll do you wrong. Oh, if you say.